Yo, 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 guys, what is going on? My name is Crypack, and welcome back to another Ice and Fire video. You guys have smashed the last video of the showcase of the mod with the creatures, and as promised, I wanted to create a part two of the showcase, showcasing all the armors you can get and all of the tools slash weapons. And as you guys may see, I have two chests right behind me, and let's see what's in inside of these chests all right guys so we got the first chest right in front of us if i click onto it we have a lot of stuff inside of these chests they are filled to the brim to say the least so to start ourselves off we have silver armor now silver armor can be found by mining out silver and then making silver ingots it has extra damage against the undead so it is pretty useful if you can find iron or something it is a very good replacement for iron and now just to equip the silver armor the silver armor looks like this uh i i believe i you look you look pretty cool in silver armor you know you got the medieval kind of look i kind of like it rather than the standard iron armor but if they ever added in texture pack for ice and fire that would be pretty cool like for diamond and iron and gold and stuff that would be really cool but this armor looks very sick so if you're planning to do like a only mod playthrough this armor is really good to have all right next up on our list we have the copper tools and armor basically how you find copper is by mining as well it is a ore that you can mine in the world it is very bad um i recommend getting this maybe as soon as you start a world but other than that um i don't really recommend this armor even though it looks um yeah the, the look the look doesn't look good I, I i personally don't like the armor either um i think it's just a waste of armor um and yeah that's pretty much all i have on copper all right guys next up we have a dragon tools now these dragon tools can be crafted by using wither bones which can be dropped from the wither as well as bones from dragons which you can collect from dead dragons and basically you have a wide selection of tools now you have a dragon command staff which you can command dragons with you have a dragon horn to summon a dragon and then you have the tools which are pretty basic and you have a flute as well now the tools look like this um they, they, they look like pretty big in your hands they're pretty like decent sized tools and uh, they're really useful to get if you find any deceased dragons around since um, they can be very OP at the start of the game. So I recommend getting these ASAP. All right, guys, next up, we have flamed, iced and lightning dragon bone swords. Now, these can be crafted by defeating one of the three elemental dragons. Um, basically, they have each to their own abilities. They have a plus eight damage against the dragon of the opposites. Uh, so basically, elemental damages have a weakness to certain and other elemental damage so for example flame does more damage against ice and ice does uh, more damage against fire so basically uh each of these have their own little kind of elemental damage as well so for example the flame sword ignites and knocks back targets ice sword freezes targets and lightning dragon bone sword strikes targets with lightning now i want to test out all of these so i'm just gonna equip these i actually never tried these out so it's like it, oh my god look at the size of these things bruh you look like freaking insane with these things now let's see does this work no it doesn't okay let me spawn in a mob uh, real quick let's let's just go into all right i'm gonna spawn in a sheep it's gonna be our little lap test oh my god um well oh shit wait the tree is on fire oh no 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 okay 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 cool uh, i want to test out the ice sword as well then Wow, it, it, I mean, it one hits like mobs like that, but these swords are freaking amazing. So if you kill a dragon, please make these swords for me. Like, please, please do so. All right, guys, next up, we have the sheep disguise armor. Now, as you guys can see, I look pretty similar to a sheep, am I right? <laughs> but seriously, no. Um, basically, this armor is very useful against Cyclops since they have a flock of sheep. Yes, a flock of sheep. So it is a very useful armor to hide against the Cyclops. Um, this armor is mainly used against that since it only has like plus one armor to each of its uh, own components. I don't recommend getting this armor unless you're trying to do the Cyclops. But uh, vanity-wise, it's, it's not too bad, you know? 
All right, guys, next up, I have two weapons, the Cockatrice Scepter and the Stymphalian Bird Feather Bundle. Now, with the Stymphalian Bird Feather Bundle, they, uh, they launch sharp feathers in eight directions around us. So let's see how this works. Holy god damn. Oh my god. Wait, what the hell? Let me try that again. Let's look at our head. <laughs> You actually get a thing, ammunition from those, so I'm guessing you need ammunition as well, which are the Stymphalian Bird Feathers. And the Cockatrice Scepter basically withers targets when used and can target multiple close entities. Um, I can't really use it because there's nothing here, but basically it gives the wither effect to uh, any uh, mob that you see and use it on. So yeah, these two weapons are pretty decent. All right, guys, now we got a few more weapons. We got the Pixie one, which shoots a magic charge that deals five damage and makes targets levitate. Let me test this out, bro. Nah, I need to, I need to test this. We, we, we need sheep as like laboratory sheep. No, no way. No freaking way. My man's is just, no. No, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. This weapon is crazy. What the hell? And then we got uh, the Hippograph Talon Sword. Um, always slash your targets, dealing extra damage. Now, this will just eventually kill it, but the way it looks in your hand is like this. I think it has a really nice design, honestly. Really, really nice design. Uh, we have the Siren Flute as well, which makes targets fall in love for 10 seconds. And mobs in love will not be able to attack. I'm not sure if it works on sheep. Okay, so it doesn't work on sheep. It probably works on normal, like, mobs. That's interesting. Right. Okay, and then we have the Hippocampus Slapper. It's a comical weapon, apparently, so I'm guessing it's a meme weapon. Dazes and Souls targets is quite confusing to be hit with a fishtail. Oh, yeah. It is quite confusing. All right, guys, next up, we have the Tan Death Worm set. As you guys can see, I am rocking with this armor. I'm not gonna lie, this armor looks freaking insane. I love the freaking texture on this. Uh, basically, what this armor is, is from the death worms in the sand biomes or in the desert biomes, you can find the death worms. You need to basically collect their stuff to be able to make this. And you also can acquire a death worm gauntlet. Now, what this gauntlet does is it lashes targets with its tongues for three damage and pulls the target to our player. So let us test this out with the sheep. Oh my God, this, this weapon is kind of disgusting. Wait, let me see how it looks from the front. Oh my God. I'm coming for your ass, boy. All right, guys, next up, we have the Mermax pickaxes and Mermax tools in general. We also have a Mermax swarm, which summons five Mermax swarmers that will defend me for 30 seconds. And it's apparently only a single use thing. Holy sh... God damn. I mean, will they attack a sheep? If I attack it, oh my God. Yes, they do. They do attack. They do indeed attack. Apparently the Mermex stuff, uh, I, I believe it can guide them towards where you want to, uh, to command them to. So that's also really useful. And we also have a Stymphalian Bird Dagger, which is basically an extremely fast sword. Like, look at the speed of this thing. That is really fast. We're gonna make the sheep die because we... We are cruel creatures of this island. Now, also with the Mermax, you can also have a Mermax armor, which looks like this. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of this armor. It makes your head look like really, really weird. But um, the overall kind of aesthetics of it is not too bad, to say the least. Right, I'm actually, uh, I actually want to kill these guys. So it's like, let me get rid of these guys real quick because they, they, they've been making a bit too much noise. All right, guys, next up, we have two legendary weapons. We we have the Tide Trident, which is very strong Trident weapon, pierces through multiple enemies. This is basically like an updated Trident of the normal Trident. Like, look how far this thing goes. And also, we have the Amphithere Makuhuitil. Um, yeah, great pronunciation, by the way. Um, basically, what this weapon does is it knocks entities up and back and disables shields. So, I'm not sure what it means. So, let's just test it out on a sheep, as usual. Oh! Wait, did it actually kill this? Wait, it didn't actually kill the sheep. I don't think they take fall damage with this weapon. Hey, that's a pretty cool weapon, I guess. Let's bug. All right, guys, next up, we have the fire dragon steel armor. Now, 
the steel armors, there's different variants of this. If I just go into the uh, ice and fire items, uh, you also have the ice and the lightning dragon seal, depending on the dragon that you kill. But me personally, I'm going to equip the fire one as I think this one looks freaking insane. Like, bro, I look like a freaking next level child with this. But holy crap, like, look at the size. Bro, I look like I'm from freaking Skyrim. Like, like, bro, I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming for you. I'm literally coming for you. Like, look at this thing. Holy crap. Honestly, I rate this armor like a 10 out of 10. It is freaking insane. It also ignites everything and increases protection from dragon breath attacks. So it has uh, increased protection from the certain dragon that you kill. And also it has literally ignites and stuff on everything. And on obviously on ice tools or lightning tools, it'll have its own uh, respective element effect. But this armor... 10 out of 10. Okay, guys, next up we have the dreaded uh, items. And we also have a Phantasmal Blade and a Hydra Heart. So, to start ourselves off with, we have the Phantasmal Blade. It is a legendary weapon. It fires a spinning sword. Like, look at this. Are you guys ready? Ooh. Bet you didn't see that coming, huh? But nah, basically, uh, you can actually throw these blades at everything. I think this is probably one of the very cool weapons in this mod. I love freaking flying projectile weapons. This reminds me of like Terraria, but 10 out of 10 for this sword. All right, guys, next up, we have the Dread Thrall Sword and the Dread Knight Sword. Now, these do a lot of damage, as you can see, especially the Dread Knight Sword. 17 attack damage. That is crazy. That is a crazy amount of damage. Um, also, we have the Staff of Dreaded Queen, the Blade of the Dreaded Queen, and the Dread Lich Staff. Now, damn, this fire is like freaking ice skulls. What the hell? I'm not sure what the Staff of the Dreaded Queen does, though. Huh. It's interesting. At least it looks pretty cool in our hands, huh? The white dragon scale... Oh my god, dragon scale armor. Dragon freaking scale armor. Do you guys know how insane this armor looks? Nah, I don't think you guys know. Oh my god. No, no, no. I'm actually dripping right now. I am dripping with sauce right now. Holy crap. This armor is like a freaking 29,000 out of 29,000. Like, for real. Also, with the dragon scale armor, it has increased protection from dragon breath attacks. Just to let you guys know, you know. But the armor is really insane, in my opinion. And next up, guys, we have the Tide Guardian set. Uh, I picked it in purple, as I think purple looks pretty freaking insane. Now, this one provides water breathing, provides strength when wet, and increases levels with full set. Um... This armor is also a freaking 29,000 out of 29,000. Like, guys, this armor looks freaking insane. Like, some of these armors in this mod are hands down, like, one of the best armors I've seen in Minecraft. Re like, seriously. This armor is also really cool. And it has, uh, like, I think four or five different color variants as well. So it is freaking crazy. All right, guys. And finally, we have the troll set. Now, if I equip this, I think the troll set actually looks really nice as well. I, I kind of like this armor. It's not as good as the last ones, but it still has its own beauty. And now, <laughs> look at the freaking weapons. These are all the weapons the troll can... Uh, basically drop and i'm not sure how the player actually manages to carry these but i feel like the axe looks the nicest but holy crap like i can barely see my freaking hands with this now these all of these uh, weapons do the exact same thing and yeah you could like they're really slow though that's the thing i guess but holy crap like imagine getting hit with a freaking stone brick column like I mean, you know what will happen, guys? If you don't like and subscribe this video right now, you will get hit with a stone brick column. You didn't subscribe, fool. But anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna leave it here for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this mod showcase. You guys deserved it. You guys smashed like every single video that I upload. So it's only right that I treat you guys with a few nice videos. Um, anyways, guys, be sure to leave a like on this video if you've enjoyed. So to let me know to create more content like this. And also make sure to press that subscribe button, guys. We are trying to hit 2K this year. So I hopefully will be able to hit 2K. And you guys are freaking amazing. I don't think I even need to say it to y'all. But thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and peace peace